Welcome, scoundrels, to the Scoundrels Den. Hope you're doing well. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy the content, and thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. So, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, it is patch day, and it's a big patch on Eve Echoes. You may have seen a couple of weeks ago, I did a video talking about some of the upcoming changes to weapons and to ships, uh, and I have essentially isolated some of the more important patch notes and put them on the screen for you guys here. So, first of which, let's talk about the encounters, this one here. Um... Two new difficulty levels. This doesn't this doesn't really change much. This basically means that they've separated things out from like the way it was previously and they've added one extra tier. So now you have basic tier one to tier three, normal tier four to tier five, advanced tier six to tier seven, hard tier eight to tier nine, which within three or four days, some people will start to hit tier eight and we'll start to see those unlocked. And then expert, which is tier ten. Um so essentially you need to be that certain tier level to unlock those particular level missions. And I, I think the advanced is kind of the same as what we were doing previously. The re the rewards going up to like two and a half million, three million, that type of thing. So I'm interested to see what kind of rewards we get for tier eight missions and whether, and whether they're going to be worth grinding. From what I can see, because storyline missions have got harder and they've added extra waves to storyline missions, it's not going to be as easy to just go and grind storyline missions for money. So that's going to be a more difficult thing to do solo now. Um, when it says rebalance the difficulty, I don't know if they've made them harder or easier, but what from, from what I remember from the previous uh, discussions that I'd seen about this on Reddit and other fo uh, forums, they'd made them harder. So I imagine storyline missions will not be easy to grind by yourself now, and especially with the dynamic pirate changes that have come in, um, you're probably going to struggle to do most of those very, very hard storyline missions by yourself, even in very good ships. Okay, some ship changes. The Worm and the Rattlesnake got a drone damage buff. Um, they did not touch the Gila. I don't know why. I, I think that the, the, the Gila could have used a drone damage buff as well. I think it was a little bit underwhelming compared to some of its other counterpart cruisers. Um, the Crewer and the Daredevil got a, a damage increase, 25%. So I believe that's on their auto cannons. They get a 25% damage per level increase, which is crazy. Um... The Ashimu, the Vigilant, and the Vindicator all got a, a damage increase, and I'd say the Ashimu is a very, very good ship anyway, so it's already got a buff. Um, the Tormenta, the Merlin, the Incursors, and the Rifter got a slight damage increase. The Omen had a, an activation time, uh, so you're going you're to get a minus 5% extra activation time to lasers, which is going to make them good, as well as the fact you get that on the, the Omen Navy issue as well, an extra 5% overall activation time reduction. So both the Omen and the Omen Navy issue got a, a pretty decent buff to their dps um and that's going to help lasers in general um activation time damage i don't know what uh, this is a, a bug in the patch notes it just says activation time and then damage is to an extra percent no idea what that means stabber uh, maybe it means laser damage i'm not sure stabber uh, accuracy fall off has gone up um and also the stabber fleet issue accuracy fall off per level has gone up so you're going to get an extra 12.5 percent accuracy fall off per level of whatever that is and that's going to help because some of the um strike cannons tracking speeds has been reduced but it's just going to mean that you can shoot strike cannons even further away which i think is hilarious because they're already one of the longest range we longest range weapons in the game the ferox and the ferox family got an optimal range increase of 25 percent overall which is absolutely nutty um the hurricane prototype gets a damage increase and then the harbinger prototype gets a damage increase as well as the brutix and the harbinger as well um and then the Vindicator, the optimal range of Stasis Web of Fire uh, has been reduced to 10%. So the Vindicator's uh, uh, Stasis Web of Fire range increase has been reduced ever so slightly. Um, so overall, basically buffs across the board to a lot of ships, um, including those that use railguns, cannons, etc. But nothing to missile ships. So missile ships didn't get touched. Um, tier 6 ships and above have had HP increases across the board, um, and battle cruisers and battleships have had a around one fifth, twenty percent increase in HP. So, like you, you know, your cyclones, etc. But then, then the specifically the the prophecy of the Ferox, the Myrmidon, and the Cyclone have had their um, HP reduced by four point four percent. So they they did get the battle cruiser HP increase, and then they had it slightly reduced, I think. So, um, yeah, those ships have had a slight uh, HP decrease overall. 
Uh, the default shield explosion resistance of Amar, so um, any Amar ships, has been changed to 55%. I don't remember what it was before. Um, the default shield heat resistance of Kaldari and Garista ships has been changed to 28%, um, which I think is a slight nerf. Um, maybe I don't know, maybe a slight buff. I can't remember what they were before is the problem here. Um, the default kinetic in energy resistance of Galente ships has been changed to 46%. And this is the, the really interesting one. The default electromagnetic resistance of uh, Minmatar and Angel ships has been changed to 10%. And I believe that was 0% before. In fact, I don't think any other ships, I'm going to double check in a moment, but I don't think any other ships have got um, any EM resistance whatsoever on their shields. So getting natural EM resistance on your shield is actually a pretty big deal. Um, so Mimitar is going to get a 10% natural EM resistance, which is, I, I actually think, rather ridiculous. Um, so, so weapon changes... Small stub nose rail guns, optimal range, 20%, and accuracy fall off 20%. Does, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I think they were already such close range anyway. You're, you're probably going to see a very slim increase in range overall for those. The damage of small lasers, small rail guns, and cannons is up 10%. The Daredevil, really happy with those buffs plus the small cannon buffs. Um, sorry, the um, the Dramiel. The Dramiel, very happy with those. Um, small missile launcher flight time down 20%, but small torpedo launcher flight time up 20%. I, I don't know many ships that use small torpedo launchers except for maybe the Condor 2 in PvP. Um, but yeah, small, small missiles unfortunately getting a bit of a hit here, uh, which obviously will negatively affect things like the worm if you can't equip medium uh, rapids even though medium rapids have been massively nerfed so the worm not in a great place but i guess i could just you, know, you could probably just equip normal mediums if you have the space for it um medium uh, lasers rail guns and cannons have had their their damage buff by five percent so strike cannons you know you're probably still going to see stabber fleet issue long range strike cannon doctrines because they've just got i think even got slightly better because the tracking speed i don't think matters as much when you're firing at long range uh, medium beam laser tracking speed up by 20%. I'm looking at you, Phantasm. You've really... Phantasm has come out of this patch really well. Um, the medium snub nose railgun, optimal range, plus 20%. Accuracy fall off, plus 20%. That makes a bit more difference in the small, because it was a slightly longer range. It may mean that we can see some uh, medium snub, mo snub nose railgun fits work properly. Um, medium auto cannon tracking speed is up, but medium strike cannon tracking speed is down. But strike cannons, okay, yeah... They could hit things at short range and they weren't supposed to be able to. But if you're playing the long range strike cannon doctrine and the stab by fleet issue, that's not going to make that much difference to you. And you've got an accuracy range um, increase and you've also got or a fall off range increase and you've also got a damage increase, which is pretty, you know, pretty nice. Medium rapid missile launchers damage down by 50%, 15% and flight time down by 15%. So what I would say is the damage application is still good to frigates, but they are they are much shorter range now and they do much less damage. And actually, they are outclassed damage-wise by normal medium missile launchers. And with target painters, it may mean that you don't actually need uh, medium rapids as much. I don't think medium rapids are, are that useful in many scenarios now, unfortunately. I think they're kind of a dead weapon. Um, media, and this, and also, this is also compensated by the fact that medium missile launcher damage is up, as well as medium torpedo launcher damage is up as well. So uh, things like stealth bombers using medium torpedoes, like the Hound, good for them. Medium missile launchers, my Gila is now using medium missile launchers. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And large torpedo launch uh, flight time uh, is up. So uh, large laser, railgun, cannon, and missile damage all up by 20%. No one can actually use these effectively right now, but I imagine when tier 8 rolls around, we might be able to. Um, you, some people have been using um, large rapid missile launchers, but they use medium missiles. So, uh, And large torpedo flight launcher type flight time is up. Okay. Medium drone weapon HP is up by 50%. Might make the Gila more effective in PvP. Who knows? Um, large drone weapon HP is up by 50, uh, 100%. Again, Rattlesnake is going to be a great ship, hopefully, so looking forward to getting my hands on that in one day. Um, NPCs in the Warship Anomaly space will not be equipped with afterburners and micro-warp drives at the same time. And there was a load of stuff just about um, some changes to some NPC things, but they, they weren't massively important. But really, the, the thing that you need to know from this discussion is that most ships are getting a buff, but missile ships are not. Um, most weapons are getting buffed, but there are some small nerfs to... Well, large nerfs to missile launchers and then a small nerf to, to medium strike cannon tracking speed. I, I would say the ship that has really come out well from this are things like the Phantasm, because the Phantasm did not get touched, and the Phantasm also got a laser buff, which is crazy. So the Phantasm is going to have a great time. It's got a, a, a medium uh, tracking speed increase of 20%, and then a 10% 
sorry, then also a 5% damage increase. So the Phantasm is laughing. The Phantasm is having a great time. Uh, but what this is doing is trying to balance the weapons spread across the board so that, you know, you, you're not just using missiles for PvE content. This might allow you to go into snub nose rail guns. Uh, medium uh, beam lasers are, are potentially becoming more used and more useful. So things like the Omen Navy issue... Um, you know, you're going to get more use out of that if you're going into lasers, especially with some of the Omen Navy issue um, uh, buffs that you had on this patch. So we're probably going to see some more diversity in kind of like ships that are currently being used. I, however, if you're worried, wondering what you have done with missiles, I'm going to show you now. I need to get rid of all of these uh, Discord images. Do -do -do -do. It's like slowly revealing. Slowly revealing. And, okay. So... Um, before the changes, um, after the, the medium um, rapids, I actually had 600 DPS. I went and picked up some Republic Fleet mediums, which were not ridiculously overpriced. They're about 7, seven million a go. I was thinking about getting C-types, but they're 100 million a piece right now, so I think I'm probably just going to farm C-types instead. Um, and I'm not paying 400 million a piece for an extra six dps to be honest with you <laughs> I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not paying that much for an extra six dps um so yes uh i've got these on they added they gave me an extra 60 dps overall i've changed out one stasis web of fire and replaced one uh nosferatu with two target painters the target painters were about 50 million a piece what target painters do is they have got a pretty long range um is they increase the um enemy signature radius by a certain percentage now 29 percent on a frigate is not going to be a huge amount it's probably not going to make my um my medium missiles do the same kind of damage that my um that my medium rapids were able to however my medium uh normal medium missiles have got a range of about 33 kilometers so that means that i can effectively circle the enemy at a 30 kilometer range with an afterburner with my drones having about a 40k range and this is going to be a bit better overall i feel for my uh for my gila um i was thinking about trying to equip a large rapid missile launcher but my don't i don't really have the power grid for it um and i don't have the skills for it either so i've just gone with this so we're going to go test it out in an anom anomaly now very quickly we're going to show you uh just how it gets through uh, maybe with the first part of the wave just to test some damage application across different types of ships uh, and we'll see if the target painters help uh versus the the smaller ships that obviously the um the the medium rapids were very very good versus okay first thing to note is that i have a stabber that appears to be no a bellicose that appears to be um MWD towards me. So I'm going to target paint this guy and I'm going to see what the kind of damage application is like of medium missiles. Obviously the 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 speed the the activation time of my medium missiles is is just very 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 slow. But uh I would say overall I I think I'm killing things slightly less quickly than previously. Uh I'm I'm definitely dealing less damage across the board despite blowing up the the signature radius. Hmm. It's definitely slower. It's definitely slower, I would say. I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I, I definitely, definitely feel the nerf a little bit. I'm wondering whether I should have a... Um, ballistic missile control system because it would help with the activation time on my medium missiles i think now now that i'm running medium missiles it may be worth thinking about if i'm at 30k maybe dropping one of my adaptive shield hardeners and going for a ballistic missile control system so then i have one of each um yeah this is um it's a bit different i'm definitely noticing that i'm taking things down much more slowly than i was previously Obviously, the target painter is helping for damage application, and I imagine even versus bigger ships is going to be even better. Um, but I, I think I, I definitely, I'm definitely getting the vibe that it's uh, it's much harder. And also, obviously, I've got I've got to worry about my. Um, I mean, I don't even know how much cap these things use. It costs seventeen point one gigajoule. I mean, if I compare that to these, that cost thirty one. How much does uh, how much does activating this cost? Three hundred and forty four. All right, it's like a, it's like a scratch. Tis but a scratch. However, being able to orbit at thirty k does help a little bit more. But I, I'm I'm noticing like I would be taking down, I would be taking down cruisers much much more quickly um, previously. What I'm really interested in, what I'm actually most interested in, is how I will fare versus, um, how I'll fare versus frigates and destroyers. 
So this is versus cruises. It, I definitely feel that my my damage application is lower, um, as you would expect with medium missiles. So obviously the I would say the the overall damage input because obviously a single volley of my previous medium rapids, especially to cruisers, would be dealing one thousand and something. Uh, and even versus this battle cruiser, now oh, that was three thousand and seventy. I think was that uh, was that three thousand and seventy from my missiles? We should double check again, shall we? Let's see how much damage I do with a single volley of missiles here. They're very slow compared to the medium rapids. Uh, 2,455. So the damage application is a little bit all over the place with my um, with my normal medium missiles. That's why I'm wondering whether having an activation time thing like a ballistic missile control system would be better because it would have a, it would have a bigger impact on my DPS overall compared to my, my medium rapids. And I'm not taking too much damage and I could probably afford to drop uh, one of the hardeners. We'll have to see. However, I am out, obviously, at a much longer range than I was previously. I'm quite clearly able to solo stuff, and the target painters, I think, are helping. Um, but the damage application is, is still significantly worse. See how much damage I do with a single volley. I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage versus just normal cruisers with these missiles. It's definitely slower. Even with the target painters on, it's definitely slower. Now, I, I think you, you, you clearly use target painters in this scenario, and I have a web just in case like a frigate gets close to me and is like too quick to, to st slow down. But I, I definitely, definitely feel like the... Uh, the target painters. Okay, we well, let's. This is good. This is a good one. We've got a frigate. Um, let's test. This is. I mean, this is going to be a real test. I used to kill frigates instantaneously, right? So we used to kill frigates pretty much instantaneously. Um, I need to get both my target painters on it. Okay, both my target painters on it. Okay, let's fire some missiles. Let's see how. One thousand two hundred and forty-eight, but again, that that is over the course of a much slower activation time. It's not taking forever to kill frigates, but clearly it's taking much longer than it did previously. I would kill. I would have killed this uh, very likely by now. the 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 good thing about the um, the good thing about the the Gila is is obviously that you've got the drones and medium drones are, are okay. Um, yeah, let's see how we do versus this guy. I probably slow him down as well. If I slow him down and target paint him. I'm I'm not taking much damage, but again, this is why I'm thinking maybe having a um a ballistic missile control system would be good. Because it would it would reduce the activation time of um of these things. I can't remember which which rig I'm running. Um which missile damage rig am I running? I think I'm running... I'm not. I'm running a core defense charge. I'm not running because obviously most of the damage does come from your drones in the, in the Gila. Okay. No worries. I don't know if I've got all of the skills. Have I got all of the skills for... Yeah, I have got advanced cruiser command. Cool. However, I, you know, I've got an extra 10k range than I would have done previously, so I'm clearly taking much less damage than I would have done anyway. I mean, I've, I've barely had to use my shield booster at all, and this is, this is a tier 8 anomaly. So I, I'm obviously, I mean, it's a small, clearly it's a small. Um, I'm only doing it for the sake of testing. One thing I have noticed, though, is you, my drones seem much more responsive this patch. Like, they aren't randomly coming back to me all the time. They are switching targets more effectively, which is good. Uh, and obviously being able to fire at this kind of range is always a good thing. I would need to go back and compare this to me clearing a tier 8 anomaly maybe previously. I don't know if I have... Um, I probably have some footage on my YouTube channel of me clearing a tier 8 anomaly small with the medium rapids, but I, I do think medium rapids were clearly going to be quicker. I wouldn't say it's awful killing a frigate, though. Or a, I, think, I think I killed a... No, I killed a destroyer there, right? I killed a destroyer. It wasn't even a frigate. It wasn't awful killing a destroyer. I imagine it'll be worse killing a frigate. We'll see if we get a frigate in one of these waves. 
I can imagine doing angel dead spaces with Dramiels running around is going to be nigh on impossible, though. Two thousand four hundred and fifty. I mean, the thing is, like, the activation time on this is twelve seconds, which I think is reduced if I look at it in my fitting. No, it's still twelve seconds. Really? Maybe I. Yeah, maybe a um a ballistic missile control system would be better overall. Like, especially now I'm at thirty k, I might not actually need to have. Uh, I might not need to have a... I mean, I have a look at my defences. Have it, Has any of this ship's natural defences changed? That's the question. We can go and have a look. No, it's 28%. So it's, 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 it's classed, obviously, as a um, Kaldari ship. But 28%. Thermal resistance. So that's that's actually a buff, right? That twenty eight percent thermal resistance is a buff. It, yeah, it's a buff. Okay, I couldn't remember what it was before, but it's a buff. I mean, I'm clearly not struggling to to clear this. I'm not taking any damage, and I can I can I can orbit at thirty k very effectively. Again, we've got a couple of destroyers here. They're the ones that I'm I'm most interested in seeing, like the difference. Okay, so I mean, I'd say one thousand two hundred isn't too bad. This guy is like spinning around me at the speed of light, though. What have they got on me? They've got a web. They've got a painter. Uh, at least I'm not getting. Warp scrammed. I mean, I, I don't even care. I mean, I wouldn't really care if I'm getting warp scrammed. I probably wouldn't have any problem. I wouldn't say it's taking forever to kill the destroyers, but I think it's clearly taking a lot longer than it used to. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the difference. Like, I think that's that should be the case when you're running missiles, though. Clearly, you shouldn't have like fantastic damage application to everything. But I definitely feel I'm definitely feeling the strain of missiles not quite being the same as they were, once were. I mean, I've got everything running. I'm not. I'm not really dropping any cap as well, which is nice. I'd need to check how long it is, it took me to do this previously. Is the question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to speed up to the end of the. I'm going to just go through this and speed up to the end, and then we'll uh, and then we'll chat at the end. Okay, I'm actually coming back now to have a look at how I do versus this slasher. These things would go down in a matter of seconds. Um, let's see what happens when I actually hit a missile volley on it. They're going quite... It's not going that quickly. Uh, well, we took it down relatively quickly anyway, I'd say. We are now face tanking some bellicoses, but they don't really deal much damage, so... Just for the sake of getting through this... I'm going to slow this thing down. I'm taking a little bit of damage here, but it's not a significant amount. Okay, that went down pretty quickly. I'm wondering whether I'll do the I'll just do the bellicose first. Okay, wait, I've actually I've split my DPS. That's fine. At least I'm getting a good indication about what no target painters medium missiles do to a uh, a tower. The tower isn't actually doing anything though. It's just sat there. It does 933 damage a volley every what? Should we count the activation time? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's definitely 12 seconds. Okay. I just wondered if for some reason I thought it it must be quicker than that because of my skills, but it is actually 12 seconds, which is kind of annoying. Let's see how much damage a volley does with the target painters on. 
about 300 more. So the target painters give me 300 damage more per volley on a destroyer, which I would say is actually pretty good. <laughs> Like a 33% damage increase for two mid slots that I would never have otherwise been using at longer range anyway. So I'd say that's pretty I'd say that's a pretty good outcome. Now obviously their destroyer wasn't exactly moving. Um I'm definitely feeling slower killing the NPCs though. We've been going for nearly 20 minutes, and this is a small. So imagine versus the large. I definitely felt like I was clearing out larges much more, much more readily. So why I'm thinking because I'm at 30k range. If I put a, if I put a um, missile barrage or you know missile uh, ballistic control system on, it might help me out more so. I think even if this isn't the last wave, I'm just going to cool it and head back to the station. Um, and then we'll, we'll have a look at the da what the damage increase would be with a, a ballistic missile control system. Uh, I do think you know let's it, it, let's just for the sake of for the sake of uh, we've got currently got thirty eight k effective HP. Let's turn that off. It drops us to has it even has it even dropped us down yet? I don't think it's even dropped us down our effective HP yet. Okay, so there we go. Let's have a look now. It has dropped us to... Well, we, we lose 6k HP. But we're not taking much damage anyway. So we're not taking much damage regardless. And that 6k HP is obviously across the board to, like, all damage types. So, the you know, the types of damage that we're currently uh, defending against with shield are obviously much, um, much easier to deal with. I'm just going to pop that. Got a... Uh, few mil just from some bounties which is always nice all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish this I'm gonna head back to station I'm gonna equip a, a medium sorry a uh, ballistic missile control system see what happens one thing that i've noticed is that i seem to have got loads more loot than i usually do uh doing anomalies and i don't know if that's just just something that is completely not a thing and it wasn't in, in in sort of mentioned in the patch notes but i just feel like everything's dropping loot and it never, it, like sometimes i'd do an entire anomaly and get like three shipwrecks and and now i'm getting like 10 or 20 on a small it's pretty crazy so what we're going to do is we're just going to swap out this for a republic fleet ball ballistic medium missile control system it gives me 20 more dps so okay you get a damage bonus and then damage bonus and activated, but then you also get um, activation time adjustment and then an activation time adjustment 400% when activated. So you would drop, you would get like a maybe minus 20%? I don't know what 400%, no, no, minus 16% maybe. Um, or is that a 300% increase? Who knows? It's either 16% or 20%. Can't do it off the top of my head. It goes for 23 seconds. So it would potentially mean that we would get over the course of 23 seconds in a 12 second uh, activation time we'd get maybe one more barrage off in 23 seconds we'd also get a slight damage boost is that worth it for 6k HP? potentially, potentially um, it would also give us a, a, a passive damage boost over time and I'm not entirely sure that we need the double the, the double um, hardener when we're at 30k range uh, we might need a double hardener in other situations but I think this is just for like ratting where I'm not under threat. I think if I was doing a dead space, I might equip uh, double ad adaptive. But if I'm just doing normal tier eights and above, um, I might just think that actually having the the ballistic missile control system is better overall. I get an extra twenty DPS out of it, which is actually pretty solid if you think about it. Twenty DPS is actually pretty good. It puts me near seven hundred. You know, if we to up if we were to get faction drones and we were to upgrade our missiles, we'd be looking at. You know, over 700 DPS in the Gila, which is pretty pretty incredible, really. So yeah, that's uh, that's the video. Uh, I'm not going to go and do some more tests. I might do some tests with this and put it on my second channel. My second channel, which is... Um, I'm going to put a link to in the description below. I haven't published any videos on it yet, but my second channel is primarily going to be about me talking about life and politics whilst playing EVE. Uh, maybe some other games as well. But it's going to be a, a channel where I kind of just chat with you guys, and I'd love to chat with you guys about politics and about life and kind of how you're getting on and how you see politics. Last time I said this, I already got into a bit of deba a debate in the um, in the comments. I don't mind getting into debates, by the way. I don't mind getting into political debates, but I like them to be informed. And the chap that I got into a political debate with tried to tell me 
things that just weren't backed up with evidence and then i went and found evidence and he just never replied to me so if you if you if you're willing to engage in a debate with me i'm totally okay with that but please come with evidence um i i like to have political and, and scientific and all that kind of debates but based on evidence i don't like to do it on what you've heard on fox news you know <laughs> i'd like to do it you know go and research what what, what, what we're discussing and, and i will do the same you know i i'm wrong about some things like i'm, I'm quite strong-minded politically you probably don't get the impression from this channel that i'm really strong-minded politically but i am that's uh, because i kind of keep it inside for this channel specifically but my second channel has allowed me to talk about that and you know when you come to that channel expect very different types of content where i kind of talk more openly about my life and politics and stuff like that so that was this video i hope you enjoyed um and i will see you soon scoundrels oh and yeah the other channels link is in the description below